Today's comment of the day is by Aerostope. Aerostope said, cozy vibes, informative, good edit because not too many cuts. Keep on doing what you're doing with a little bitty, uh, little heart there. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Um, I, 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 I don't know what to say, you know? I, uh, I, I appreciate you enjoying the video and, and recognizing the good edits and everything like that. Um, and I hope to see your face in future, uh, future videos. It was, thank you for the comment. You are an awesome, amazing person. I appreciate it. All right, let's go ahead and get started in today's video, my friends. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about the top three defensive perks for Anoida for beginner players. This is my own personal list, so it might not be the same as what's in your head. However, if you disagree with me, feel free to go to the comments below, and we'll talk about it back and forth. We can really fin uh, figure out what are the top three perks for Anoida. And uh, yeah, I'd love to know your feedback. And let's go ahead and get started with the video. The first perk we're going to be talking about in Noida today is called Permanent Shield. Permanent Shield is a perk that surrounds her character with a shield uh the shield will make smaller projectiles bounce off of it um and if it takes too much damage the permanent shield will disappear and it'll come back after a few seconds or so um i feel like the shield is extremely viable for the early game uh for the early game of noida since it will make your survivability chances much 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 higher considering you won't be getting hit as often due to the shield which means you won't be taking as much damage which means there's a less chance for you to die which is always a good thing inside of Noida. Most of the time, if you ever see the permanent shield inside of the three perks that you get, you almost always want to pick it up uh, because it will make the early game version of Noida so much easier, so much easier. It's literally a no brainer to pick this guy up if you see it. Next perk is projectile repulsion field. This is similar to permanent shield as it's a perk that surrounds your character with an aura that repulses projectiles. This perk is another perk that makes it even harder for enemies to hit you with their projectiles, but making them repulse away from you. Um, a byproduct of this perk is it'll actually make your projectiles that you're sending out fly way faster uh, which can be extremely handy for slower projectiles like black hole to be exact um this perk will make black holes further three times faster and farther than they normally would if you didn't have this perk so not only does it make it where enemies can't hit you as often but it'll also buff your projectiles that you're sending out at enemies this is another perk that's also up there with permanent shield uh since it'll make your survivability that much better and it also gives you a little bit of a buff for your offensive spells and things like that so yeah the final perk i'm going to be talking about is explosion immunity uh, i picked this perk because explosions are practically on every single level whether it's an enemy that's shooting an explosive at you or throwing an explosive at you or maybe it's just a box that's on the ground that you don't see that you accidentally shoot and then boom you're almost dead you took 60 damage because you just did not see that projectile uh, or that explosion sorry um but if you were to have explosion immunity that wouldn't even matter because you're immune to explosives and you wouldn't take that 60 damage uh which is always a very very extremely good thing not only that let's say for example your main damage dealing one uh has explosives in it you won't take damage from your own wand i've had this happen to me plenty of times where i'm testing out wands and then you know i test out an explosive and then boom i just accidentally kill myself because i threw an explosive out and then shot it by accident just from trying to test out a wand that i could potentially use in the next level um so if i were to have explosion immunity in that moment i would have taken that damage and i wouldn't have killed myself so yeah it's also a really really handy thing to have and there you go ladies and gentlemen those are my top three defensive perks for beginner players inside of noida um if you disagree with me and you have your own top three let's go back and forth in the comments down below i'd love to hear what you're thinking and if you made it this far in the video that means you enjoy it so feel free to hit that like button and maybe subscribe if you want to see content like this in the future it would be amazing 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 for you guys to be here on the smojo side of things if you guys know what i mean uh but yeah thank you for watching and i hope to see you in future videos and i hope you're having an amazing day good evening good morning and good afternoon and i'll see you guys later peace